In this video, we're going to look at how to install Google Drive on your computer so that it is much more convenient to manage your files. Hi, I'm Duncan from 6.5. We help our clients get productive using Google Workspace in their business. Now, you might want to install Google Drive uh, on your computer or maybe even on your iPad or your Android or some other device to make it really easy for you to be able to uh, create files automatically have them save up into your Google Drive account. Now, what that means is that if you're building uh, or creating content on your local computer, instead of saving it to My Documents and then having to say drag and drop it up into your browser into Google Drive, you can actually just save it straight into Google Drive and your computer will then do the background work to synchronize that data from your computer up into your Google Drive for you. Super convenient, really easy to do. Let me show you how that's done. Probably the easiest way to start doing this is by going to drive.google.com and log icon, then click get drive for desktop. Um, now, what you'll find is that sometimes this doesn't work quite right, um, but when you do have it, it'll just say download drive for desktop, click on the link, and it will start downloading in your browser. Okay, so fairly straightforward. I'm on a Mac, but the same thing will happen on a PC, as it says, available for Mac and uh, Windows and Mac OS. Now, if for some reason you can't find that link, there is another link which I'll put in the description below the video here, which is directly to the support page that looks a bit more like this and has a big blue download for Windows or download for Mac button on it as well under this uh, accordion for install and setup drive for desktop. So if you can't find the one that uh, we've just looked at, um, go for the link below and come find this button here and click on download. So once it's downloaded, you're going to click on open now in the top right there, and then you're going to tick the box uh, uh, to add the application as a shortcut to your desktop, makes it easier to find sometimes, and then click on install. Now following through the prompts, just click on launch, and this is fairly straightforward to follow through, but we'll, we'll walk through it anyway. So get a new window, welcome to Google Drive, click on the get started, and then click on sign in. Now you're gonna use your Google Workspace login and password here, I'm already signed in, and we're just gonna click on our current account, click on sign in, and it says yay, we're done. So you can close this tab if you need um, in Chrome, and if you come back to your Google Drive window, you'll see it now says setting up. Um, now feel free to read through these different tabs, but basically it's saying to you, what have you got? Um, do you also want me to upload stuff from elsewhere? Um, we're not going to say yes to any of these at this point in time. We're going to just skip through these. But you can, if you want, grab a folder that's random, you know, in a random place on your computer, and Google Drive will upload it. And you'll see it in the computers folder on the left-hand side when you look at drive.google.com in a browser. Uh, I'd actually recommend that you stop using your local computer folders like these. Uh, and instead of doing this, go across and drag those files and folders um, uh, into your Google Drive file folder and upload them to Google Drive rather than keeping them on the computer because it means they're very specific to this computer still if you do this method. So we're going to um, skip over that. And then the next one is going to ask you about photos. Um, so again, you can do much the same thing and say import my photos and all my videos into uh, Google Photos. Um, so again, kind of up to you uh, if you want to use this or not. Um, I know some people don't like Google Photos. They keep them on Google Drive themselves, those photos and images. So, you know, tick these boxes if you wish. It will import them into Google Photos. And if you put the app on your phone, the Google Photos app on your phone, it will import your, your photos from, if you're on a Mac, um, an iOS device, it will import uh, those uh, photos from your iOS image library as well. And it's going to give us an estimate of what we've got. We're all done, so we can click on Open. Drive. Now, if you ever want to find the settings for your Google Drive, you're going to click on the little down arrow next to the clock, and then you'll see your Google Drive icon. Click on that, and then that's going to show you the status of where it is in terms of what it's uploading and downloading and so forth. And you can click on the settings icon in the top right uh, to open up the settings area. Next up is if you want to find this uh, in on your computer, this if you want to find this folder on your computer, go to your Windows Explorer, and uh, when you open that up, you'll get um, a view that's a bit like this. If you don't have um, the folders down on the left-hand side, 
then you can click on view show and click navigation pane on the left. All right, so now what you can see is we have a, essentially under your PC, we've got an item called uh, Google Drive. And if you click on that, it will now look much the same as it does when you go to drive.google.com, my drive, other computers and shared drives there as well. So by default, what you want to do from now on is instead of um, saving things into your desktop or into your My Documents, you want to make sure that you're going into My Drive or Shared Drives and finding the right shared drive to save things in there. When you're creating files on your computer or you're saving a download or whatever it might be. Now, if you like this video, you might like our Google Workspace 101 course. There is a link to that below. It is completely free. It takes about 30 minutes. And if you are new to Google Workspace, it's a great thing to go and have a crack at. Like I said, completely free. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe below if you find this useful. And we'll see you in the next video.